Hello everybody, Pokemon TCG Austria is speaking. Today we're having a double interview with Filip Lecievski and Tobias Mutowski. Hello, you both. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> and also Lucas is interviewing with me, right? Of course, Lucas? of course. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, you played uh, at the Rectionals in Leipzig, if I remember it correctly. And you yes. both managed to get into finals with the same deck and the same 60 cards, because you both developed the deck list together. Yeah, that's right. Um, and when we're having a look at your deck list, we see that it's kind of unusual for a Vesper Queen Flarian deck, in my opinion. I mean, you're playing two Odinos, you're playing uh, two Blacksmith, and you're playing four, four uh, Fire Energies, I think. That's the. These are the most important things that just I don't know that you're that you're seeing at the at the first time. What are your why? Why did you play it like that? What were your thoughts when building this deck? So um, first of all, the blacksmith. That's why we played this deck. Mm -hmm. um, we thought it would be good to um, play a deck which has a good matchup against Tyrantrum because it won. It was yes, yeah, Supernova it was, mm -hmm. and um, we found out that. Flareon has a decent matchup against it, and um, but we w wasn't that uh, sure about the uh, Toad uh, Giratina matchup. Yeah. And to improve this matchup, so uh, we, we, yeah, my idea was to play two blacksmith and four fire energies uh, because it's more consistent. Definitely. Um, under the item lock, when here or now with the Giratina, it doesn't have the item lock, hmm. but. Uh, you but you, you can play the DCEs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. It's, just, it's just so, so good. We... Yeah. I asked, I asked to Toby, uh, what can we play? We need to win against Tyrantrum and Totina. And he just said, yeah, if we play like more Blacksmith and Fire Energy, then yeah, we can win that. And we tested it and it worked out pretty nicely. And so, yeah, that was the beginning. All right, I see you. Um, and in the beginning, did you know how many how many international players would attend the tournament, or did you have any meta calls, or did you know that any German players what what they would play? What about that? Yeah, we, we heard a couple of Czech players would come, um, like Martin Janus, mm -hmm. and yeah, some well-known German players, Karl, Ole, and so on. Yeah, uh, we we thought it would be. Um, pretty competitive, yeah. All right. I expected a lot um, Tyrantrum and Seismitoad. Yeah. And was it like that in the end? Um, not as much Seismitoad, but uh, the other, basically the most of the checks by Tyrantrum. Okay, and that's very interesting to yeah, hear. Also some Germans, and there was a more Evelta than we expected, but we appreciated that because we also have a great Evelta matchup if we don't um, whiff too much, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, not as much Archeops, which was fine with us, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and not so many West Frequents with Life Dew. Um, Life Dew, yeah. Um, that was annoying. Uh, something that we were afraid of, yeah. Yeah, because in your list you, you don't run any card which lets you discard your opponent's two cards. You don't yeah, run we any... play Computer Search, and this is just a disadvantage in the mirror match. But we hope that all the Tyrantrums and Tortina decks would beat those West Bitcoin decks because they didn't take <laughs> uh, Blacksmith and for fires. And, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> it seems like it worked out in the end because. Yeah, and we also and we also played that enhanced timer for the, those matchups, uh, which was such a great card. Like yeah. for example, against Tortina, often they just used the tier one to uh, turn one to attach the double dragon. Yeah, and yeah. then we, if we have a good turn one and discard a lot of stuff, and then we have the enhanced timer as well. It's just so overpowered, and we all, almost win every time after that. Yeah, it definitely uh, is annoying for the opponent. I myself played at the Supernova Blast um, Tyrantrum, and I played against the Vespa Queen deck, and he played two enhanced hammer, and it was so annoying. <laughs> and I didn't know that in the beginning. All right, I think, and, and why the one chorus? Oh yeah, that yes. was another debate. We because we um, contemplated uh, playing teammates. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, we didn't have space for teammates and chorus, and we figured out that chorus is just better because yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, just it's, better. It's, just it's good because good. Um, 
but teammates you only have you get two cards and often you need a good a supporter for the next turn and with Calderas in the mid game or yeah even sometimes in the early game yeah uh, then you get a lot of cards and uh, can get uh, uh, easy the combo with blacksmith or you have a good ca uh, hand so he must have to end you because yeah because of the chorus if, if yeah. he doesn't if he doesn't you just win after that because whatever he does you have the response it's just overpowered but with teammates you only have like the things you need for the particular turn you are playing and you also can't play blacksmith on the same turn <laughs> yeah true but it's clear. Yeah, so it's like a more a four-side card uh, you use there. Yeah. And uh, just one silver bangle, um, is that a card you would have liked to run two of them or was one more than enough, in your opinion? Mm, so yeah. we wanted to play two um, because it's more yeah, more consistent to have a knockout in the early turns. But uh, it wasn't the space for the second one uh, because you, you cut, we, uh, mm. you cut it for the um, hand timer, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and also, we, you just need to play one. But I, I've seen this with um, twenty-eight Pokemon and no Silver Banger. Mm. But you often run into the problem that, for example, against decks like Mega Rayquaza or Mega Manectric, you just don't get these knockouts on the UJHP Pokemon, and yeah, yeah, and it's crucial. If you with those no goes and yeah, yeah, sure. So it's better to have this one silver bang, and we can also search it out with computer search. So it's more consistent. It's yeah. like we have a second copy because you don't need more than one silver bang, really. Because after he can knock out the Pokemon with silver bang, you only need one more Pokemon to do the same damage again. Yeah, true uh, that. And it's knocks, like yeah. we have two silver bang, but mm -hmm. um, if it's not priced, yeah. <laughs> I see. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, and one last question uh, about your list. You play one floatstone. I think that's also kind of unusual because most of the Vesper Queen Flaren deck lists run one AZ. Um, why the floatstone? And it's just faster, just faster, because AZ you need the supporter to play the AZ. And I had a situation in the Swiss rounds where I started with Audino and. Um, without a floatstone, I probably probably would have lost because it would have given my opponent too much time. But with the floatstone, I just could retreat and attack on the same turn Not and so. play uh, Sycamore or something like that. And we figured out you don't really need it against Toad decks like too much. So yeah. I, we never were in a situation where we thought playing AZ is necessary. Yeah, because I mean you have the uh, Audino ability, busybody. So you shouldn't stay asleep. Um, yeah, we yeah we also play to audio you know, so yeah. yeah. All right, I think that's that's all for the list. Uh, let's talk about the tournament itself. I think there were thirty nine masters in in Leipzig. Uh, you already talked about the meta game. Uh, how were the Swiss rounds for you? Maybe Philip first and then Toby. All right. Um, round one, I played against a uh, relatively good. Czech player, he played high rank drum, and I lost that match mm -hmm. because game one I just with a couple of energies, and it's so important to not to whiff energies in this matchup. But uh, for the first couple of times, I just whiffed like all my fire energies, uh, and two fire energies were prized game one as well. And he just discarded my a single DCE and attack with Tyra, uh, with Giardina, and then yeah. it was over basically. And game two, um, I had very bad draws in the late game. Not not so much because of M, but um, like I needed to play a battle compressor and discard two Pokemon, and my only three Pokemon in deck were Combi, Flareon, and Flareon. And I could not discard one Flareon because if I do that, I can't power up another Flareon for the late game. Sure. Yeah. And I needed that. I knew I needed that. Um, and I top deck the Combi, so I had to discard both Flareons. Mm. With the battle compressor, and that, that's how I, I lost ga uh, game two. Okay, so you had a bad start in turn. Yeah, and then round two, I tied against the Night March Archaeops deck. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, game one, I whiffed a lot of DCEs, and game two, I won, and game three, she powered, powered up Archaeops, but because uh, in game two, she played on time out, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, it right. was time before she could she could kill me in game three. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, 
So yeah. you 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 had to win all of the you know the last <laughs> right <laughs> pretty intense six rounds I think um yeah I had to win four games after that straight Whew. and you did you did manage and to I, do that yeah. after that I played against Ivata which is easy yeah matchup normally then against Mega Rayquaza um and I won game two and game three against that as well mm -hmm. because of the silver bank and computer search. <laughs> Um, that was so important. Um, and then I played against the Toad deck, so auto win because he played not, no crushing hammers and only one enhanced hammer and like Garbodon, no Giratina. Ah, oh god, who plays and that? And he whiffed all his laser heads. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that was the only chance for him to win, but yeah, yeah it was basically auto win for me. Mm -hmm. And that was easy 2 0. And then last round I played against Tyrant John. And Again. game one, he priced one double dragon, and I uh, discarded one with enhanced hammer and knocked out his active with two double dragons. So, <laughs> so pretty much cheeky. <laughs> yeah, and game two, um, game two, I think uh, he couldn't win in time. Okay, I see. Um, or I think in the late game he scooped to me because, uh, yeah, I think he scooped to me in the late game because I had a crucial blacksmith, and yeah. So I was in top card after that. Mm -hmm. What about you, Toby? So, um, in the first round, I played against, uh, I think it was a random stuff, uh, something with Vesper Queen and Cherno. <laughs> <laughs> Not worth mentioning. So, like uh, the random matches yeah. on PT6 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, then the second round, I played against Chriso. Uh, he played oh. a Salamence deck. I think he borrowed it <laughs> because he. Yeah, Every tournament he borrowed a deck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, game one I got a uh, pretty good setup. So he scooped after some turns. Um, game two was. Um, the beginning was more diffi difficult because um, he had some bind lap on turn one. Mm. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think I didn't have a good start because of the side lap. It was pretty slow. Um, but with his elements, um, I don't know if you know his attack because no, I didn't know I, it I don't before. know it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the first attack is uh, you don't want to use it because in this card is a uh, stadium. And the second attack is more important. I think it is does 20 times the number of my cards in my hand. <laughs> okay. And, and I only, if I uh, only have three cards, then he can't uh, make a knockout on me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Master Band. So... Yeah, I tried it and uh, it worked out pretty well. <laughs> Who plays a deck like that? <laughs> yeah, Chris. <or. laughs> Crazy. <laughs> All right. And so yeah. you had a 2 0 start opposite yeah, of Philip. Was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I played round three against Latios deck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I heard about it. it was yeah, I think it was the top cards. Round... Yeah. Um, so in the. Uh, uh, game one, I didn't know what he was playing, so <laughs> yeah, he won the coin flip, and my s I had uh, unknown and shaman on my hand, Ooh. and I only <laughs> placed my unknown active. Of yeah, course, so he yeah. got the donk turn one. <laughs> <laughs> um, game two, uh, then uh, yeah, then I could start, and I, I had a good setup. I think I don't know, <laughs> um, but I won game two. Mm -hmm. uh, and game three, uh, he, I wasn't that lucky. Uh, I got a uh, death draw at the beginning. Oh no! And I had to hit hit bump and hit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, at the end I had I, I've done uh, 120 damage with hit bump. I think on this mega Latios. <laughs> Crazy. So he was yeah he he didn't knock it out. He only attacked on my shaman. Well, I think one time and two times uh, I he got tails, <laughs> and after that I uh, then I got a supporter and I came back into the game. But uh, in the end he won because he had drawn the prizes on the early turns. Okay, I see. So then what is it? Two one, mm -hmm. <laughs> and two, yeah. Uh, then the, the fourth round I was playing against uh, Evil Archops. <laughs> oh great! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, in the in game one, he even got the Archops turn one or turn two. I don't know. 
So I couldn't uh, evolve my combis. I could only uh, use my flareons only with the EV. With, with the, the energy evolution ability. Yeah. So I had to play an energy and then blacksmith or uh, DCE. Mm -hmm. I had to. But I could uh, knock out his uh, Archops license and then I got the Vesper Queens and won the game. Okay, alright. And then um, game two, uh, he started, but uh, he, uh, yeah, he was playing um, Bell Compressor at the first round and discarded his uh, Archops and uh, Maxis and Baldrick. And mm. then <laughs> he was oh, playing he like Hiroshi. <laughs> and Hiroshi. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, <laughs> was so angry after that. <laughs> Good old mistake. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, these people. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, and after after these games? Yeah, I won a game or two. Um, mm -hmm. Then what was um, round five. <laughs> yeah. Against Manuel Jua. <laughs> <laughs> oh, With Tod Gertina. Yeah, Gertina says yeah, it. <clears throat> But uh, he got always turn one the Quaking Punch, and um, I didn't draw that good. Only only war and combi, and he always had the Lysander oh, and never could attack. And he <laughs> won against me two of. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> what shame on you! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the last game you needed to win. Yeah, and it wasn't sure if I can get uh, top card because uh, four two. I had to get, but I had a good tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I played against Evil Tile without Archops, and easy yeah, that's eigentlich yeah, easy going. All right. So, what was your standings after Swiss? So my was uh, four or two. No, no, of course, but but I mean like your your place, uh, your placement. How can you say? It? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, it was uh, eight seed. Okay, oh, nice. And what about you, Philip? <laughs> I was uh, sixth seed, so the worst for one one. All right, let's see. Um, uh, okay, the top cut for you, Philip. Um, all right. Um, I was paired against uh, Lutz Rasmussen. Mm -hmm. Um, he's a pretty good uh, poker dad. Yeah. From <laughs> And he played Sable like Garbodor. Annoying. And I didn't really test the matchup, and the only thing I heard about the matchup is uh, Sable like Garbodor usually uh, loses in top card, except if it plays against West <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and West doesn't really have a good matchup against that, I think, because whenever I uh, get a knockout, he discards my DCE and he plays Live Dew, and he yeah. can get it back all the time. And <laughs> I, so I always need like a Lysander or I run or I just need energy every turn but he can end me down or something like that and it was even worse than I imagined uh, his list was so good but you managed uh, to win no 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 of course I won the, I won uh, the match <laughs> ah I see <laughs> yeah, I won the match of course but his list was just so good I just wanted to say that yeah, um, pretty good so yeah uh, game one <laughs> Uh, he went first and played, uh, and yeah, he just made his usual setup. He have lots of trouble, several energy pass, and I just passed for a couple of turns because I don't need to do anything if I can't make a move. And then he played Elisa, okay, which is like a supporter that searches for three two cards, and he searched live you. <laughs> So good in this, uh, so good in the stack, and it's such life to float on headringer, and oh, that was, was so overpowered in the stack, and I thought I lost after that, <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> he played battle compressor and discarded an ace trainer. Okay. So, <laughs> so when I uh, made my first move, Lysander or uh, something on the bench and took a knockout for a prize, a sable, I think, or something like that, and it touched. DC to Flarion, uh, took my first knockout. Um, <laughs> he played Ace Trainer and put me down to three cards. All right, um, but I mean, like, that's not exactly the purpose of a Sibley deck because uh, yeah, it, it wants to mill you. Uh, it's really the purpose because if I don't draw anything, no, you know, if I don't draw my energies, yeah, and sure. He can discard two cards per turn because he played two, um, how's it called? The. 
Karte, das Karte Top Card uh, Trick Shovel, right? Um, yeah. Play two Trick Shovel. So there was a higher chance of him discarding the energy than me drawing it. Mm -hmm. um, but after the Ace Trainer, I, I drew uh, like 2 DC and a Johnny Pump. This was so great. And I just had energies for the rest of the game. And <laughs> eventually he ran out of resources. And he was so crushed because he drew nothing after his Ace Trainer for 6. <laughs> and I drew everything after my Ace Trainer for 3. And oh, he, man. <laughs> and he just wrote off the game after that. But, um, but he thought he, he had the game locked up. But um, uh, I... Uh, did think so too, but <laughs> I just lucked out. <laughs> All right. And then game two, it was just the same thing. Uh, after I took my first knockout on the, on the Shaman X. Uh, he ace trained me down to three, and I had two uh, fire energy DCE and the Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so annoyed if I, I mean, was. It was super. ridiculous. Uh, seriously, it was ridiculous. And he could do nothing because. Uh, there was a time where he licensed my shaman with Headringer, and he, if he can repeatedly license it, I just lose. But every time he had license, I had a fire energy and a blacksmith, <laughs> so I could retreat and blacksmith the active. Oh, I see. <laughs> because if I, ha I don't have that, I can't attack because my uh, Flarion doesn't have energies, and I yeah. need the energy to retreat. So I just retreat and he licenses up again, but I have the energy and the blacksmith. <laughs> oh man, we are pretty lucky. Yeah, I was so lucky that game, I have to be honest, but um, I also played very cautiously. I didn't um, play unnecessary cards. I just passed my turn until I could make my moves. And yeah, sure. That's the I only way to go against the stack. I the next turn, and yeah. All right. So, top four? Um, yeah. Yeah, you know. Um, top four, I played against Tyrantrum, the opponent I lost to in game one. Yeah. Uh, uh, in round one. Yeah, right. Um, and this time I didn't draw so bad, um, and I had a straight game plan, a game plan. I thought I played it like the best pick and roll. I, if I don't need to, I don't bench my shamans, mm -hmm. and I didn't need to. Um, so he can only, he has to take six knockouts. Yeah. Right? And after he uh, takes three knockouts, I, I always try to put pressure on him by attaching fire energies to my combis, um, and threat, uh, threat the... Blacksmith knockout. Um, so then he has to decide to license another Flareon um, or license the combi because both can knock him out next turn. Mm -hmm. um, and he end me like a couple of times, but in the late game, um, when he th took three prizes, I just, were in a, uh, just was in a situation where I could uh, take three straight knockouts, mm -hmm. um, also with the help of an hand stammer. And he couldn't really do anything against that because the first beacon draws what it needs. Uh, it's, the deck is just so thin in the late game that every end he gives me, it's just not important because I draw the blacksmith anyway. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's just overpowered. And he can't do anything against that because if I don't, if I'm not that unlucky, I win that matchup because two blacksmith for fire. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And then and the next game, and the next game he had a slow start and I. You just um, seem wrote him. And, and yeah, I just rode over him. I had like two DCEs, two fires attached uh, everywhere, and he yeah he stalled with Aegis Slash for one turn, but then after that, actually, and he couldn't win it. Um, he was pretty pissed, I guess. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and all the checks were pretty pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. yeah. All right. What about you, Toby? Uh, just one one question, Lucas. I think Luke yeah. is already muted. <laughs> All right. Uh, how much time do we have left? Um, I don't know. We have enough time left, but we're uh, right now on uh, 23 minutes. 23. Okay, so let's let's try to to. Yeah, yeah. I can hurry up. Okay, no problem. Like. Mm -hmm. So uh, top eight, I played again against the uh, Latios player <laughs> because he was first seed. Yeah. And um, yeah. Um, yeah, and this it's matchup was pretty. Annoying with the sign player because I ca couldn't uh, counter his stadium. Yeah. And he also played uh, target whistle. <laughs> that oh was man. pretty good. Yeah, that's a good Sometimes you even could use a target whistle and execute and then bet on it <laughs> for a free pre prize. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, and in the end I won 2 1. I can't remember the, uh, the games. That a were. long day of Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, two times against the same player. Yeah. <laughs> Then uh, top four, I played against Karl Peters. Ooh, with, with Night his, March. Yeah, with Night March deck. 
Um, it it should be a good matchup because um, he tr he has only four DCEs and then uh, he can attack with his uh, MU. So he can only only draw five prizes if I don't play any X down. Mm -hmm. um, the problem about it is he can recycle his energies. Um, there are two two ways to do it. So the first way is when he play his shaman with sky return uh, and. Um, muscle band, he can get a knockout on my combi or EV yeah. on the first turns. Then, um, yeah, then it's pretty hard to win the game because then he only because then he have the few four out DCEs and the Mew yeah. um, for the for the win. On the other way is when he had pump kaboo with psychic energy on my unknown, but he didn't play psychics. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, in the first, um, yeah, that's uh, how the matchup. Uh, uh, Go. So in the first uh, game, he could get the knockout with a shaman, I think on combi or EV, I don't know. So mm -hmm. it was pretty hard to get back in the, uh, in the game. But uh, he had a second uh, shaman with, uh, on the bench. The first one was in hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, I got the Lysander before he could uh, use Sky Return again. So I went to the prize lead. And the only problem was uh, when he ended me, then if I uh, didn't draw the blacksmith or DCs or the, even the evolutions. Um, but uh, yeah, I have battle compressors, so I thin out my deck and yeah, I draw you, everything. You managed to get it. <laughs> yes. All right, let's see. Uh, and game two, um, he, we both didn't have any X on our bench or didn't yeah, we didn't play it out. Um, so it was harder. Uh, yeah, uh, when when I with something, um, but uh, he even uh, I think uh, from the two last prizes he with uh, the DCE for knockout. Then I went again the prize lead. And then you took the advantage, I see, and that was yeah how it turned yeah. out in the end. Okay, so pretty amazing. Uh, and then both of you, <laughs> you you had a long way. Till the finals, and you managed to do it. Uh, I think that's a pretty amazing feeling, isn't it? That was great. Yes. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. The so, cards, same deck. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing because you both uh, developed the deck together, the deck list. So, how how was the finals? I mean, like uh, the first place still gets a trophy and more CP, and of course there's still more competitive play. But I think that the atmosphere is just better and more enjoyable, yeah, isn't sure. it? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, and oh. we split up the booster pack prizes. So we okay. only play, in the end we only played for the 15 CP and the trophy. Okay, yeah. but we yeah, won the trophy. trophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this was really important. Um, so the finals, um, game one, uh, I uh, went first, so I won a coin flip, which uh, could be an, an advantage. But I had a Jirachi X start. Oh no! <laughs> and yeah. I couldn't really, in the end, he just got the X knockout and I didn't need to bench any X, so I couldn't win, basically. I see. And it's just how the mirror match goes. It, yeah. And the, the, the one knockout. he wins. The one who can get consistent knockouts without benching EX is the, the one who wins. Yeah. And yeah. Game two, it was the other way around. I went first and didn't start with an EX, so I won. Mm -hmm. And yeah. game three, um, yeah, Toby went first and he won. It's <laughs> <laughs> only yeah. about uh, who starts in the matchup. All right, yeah. So tenten fish noodles. But it was funny. Was, tenten uh, fish noodles, die ich gefunden hab. I, I, it was right. Uh, yeah. It was uh, correct like this because yeah. um, Toby had the AD with the two blacksmith and four fires. Uh, yes, of course, we built the deck list together and uh, helped with some card decisions, but he had the initial idea, so I think it's fair that he won. All right. The first time I had a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I just give the good ideas, but this time we had a really good idea. All right. Fair <laughs> sportsman. Uh, so, Lucas, you have one uh, last question? Yeah, I've got one so. last question about the list, though. Um, did you ever think about uh, adding a faded town into your list? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. There weren't that <laughs> much uh, uh, manic trick and requirement. Okay. Yeah, you, you, yeah. That's the thing that you, you couldn't. Uh, I don't know. Um, count with mega requirement. You know, I think that nobody expected it actually. 
Um, no, we didn't. We we think but, about it off chance. We hit it. We just we have a, still a good chance. We're still a banger. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we actually didn't have that on our minds at all. I see. All right. Um, some last questions uh, from you. Or anything maybe. you want to say. Or anything you want to say exactly. <laughs> Um, uh, maybe, maybe I want to thank uh, Peter Schlossner for borrowing, borrowing me his GRGX, but uh, <laughs> shout out other to than Peter. that, yeah, yeah. All uh, right. but, yeah. other than that, nothing in particular. I think that's yeah. it then. Um, thank you for the interview. I'm looking forward to see you at the next tournaments. Um, We'll definitely visit Wasserburg again if there's a regional again. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll uh, meet in Maybe spring. In Innsbruck? Uh, in Berlin and in oh. Innsbruck. Yeah. yeah, that's that's amazing. Looking forward to it. All right. Uh, so thank you again. Um, thank you for being here. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, so oh, yeah, I think that was it. Lucas, you want to say the last sentence? Um, yeah, thanks for the interview. We got a pretty long interview anyways, so <laughs> that's it. But it's a good interview. Yeah, it is. It is, it is. All right, uh, thank you and until next time. Bye. Bye.